Hi everyone, I'm Chef Brian cooking fresh with Green Giant Outdoors. And today I have a very special guest with me. Moses is here from NBC's show, The Biggest Loser. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you. We're gonna make a great dish. It's the Gold Dust Campfire Dinner. How does that sound? It sounds yeah. I think it sounds pretty fun. We're gonna start off with the Klondike Gold Dust Potato, some bell peppers for color in there as well, okay. a little salt, pepper, some onion, mushroom, and chicken, and a special treat. Oh, join us here. We're gonna show you how to put this together with a twist on a healthy version on the campfire dinner. These campfire dinners, Moses, are very easy. We used to do them when I was a scout, way back when. I won't say how old I am, but way <laughs> back when. And it was fun. We'd normally use like a chicken or hamburger or something like that, but there is a better choice in meat, isn't there? There is. What is it? It's uh, buffalo. So we've got some ground buffalo we're going to put in there. It's it's a lot leaner. It is. It, That's you what know, Buffalo saying. meat was what we used a lot on the ranch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's uh, very lean, very lean, very healthy. So it's very healthy. It's easy to put these dinners together. So let's start here with the Klondike Gold Dust. And I've left the skin on because it's a very thin skin and you don't need to peel it. And so okay. I've just left it right on. A lot of nutrients in that skin as well. Also, I've rinsed them off in there. Let me just put that down there and you can arrange those. I rinsed them off in this bowl of water because uh, when you cut Cut a potato has a lot of starch on it and as that starch cooks if you don't rinse it off it really becomes gluey and gummy and so I don't know if you've ever made like Dutch oven potatoes or something like oh, that. Yeah. This is a great step in the Dutch oven potatoes because okay. it rinses all that starch off of them. But let's put some onions and bell peppers all on right. there. Here's some let's here. Get a lot let's of color. Really help in you in here. Some onion. I'm a big onion fan. Uh, so am so I. There we go. That's good there, and this is our patty. Let's just put this, oh, let's put some mushrooms on there. Oh yeah. Spread it out. Mm -hmm. And there goes our that looks nice. buffalo patty. And if oh. you want to just grab some salt and pepper on there. And while you're doing that, I actually like to fold the tin foil over on itself on a triangle and then fold the edges up around it. So what I mean is just kind of slide that a little bit to the edge and just fold it into a triangle and then start and just kind of fold the edges right in so it seals it. Because really we're steaming this in okay. there. And that's why we don't need a lot of fats or anything because we're going to steam it in there. I did very lightly spray the aluminum foil with some vegetable spray to prevent it from sticking. So this one's ready now to go in. Okay. Let's build our last one here with the chicken. Okay. I'm going to set that one right there until we're oh, ready. We our yeah, here. let's put our gold dust potatoes on there. Potatoes in. There we go. All right, that's about and here we can just put some of those right on there. And you can use any kind of meat too. I mean, if this is if you, you like to, you know, hunt. I know a lot of friends like yes. to hunt. You can use venison in it. Um, turkey. You even mentioned turkey burger would be good in yeah, this. So. You know, I actually tried it the other day at my own home. Oh, good. Um, I I thought that was a great substitute. There you go. And um, a little salt and pepper on there. Got a question about your onions. I noticed oh, I cut mine differently. Yeah, I do. Cu I cut them this way because I thought it'd be kind of interesting shape. And so I just started at the bottom of the bell pepper and sliced through so it'd be a ring. Just kind of interesting because oh, you okay. eat first with your eyes and so that visual texture okay. really does great on there. Oh, got to get my mushrooms here. Oh, there you go. Put that in there. Let's just get that folded up here. And I have to say one of my favorite things about these dinners, there's no cleanup. They're so easy to put together, no dishes. That's my favorite part of it, clean. Now easy. you can also do these right in the oven if you don't have a grill or if you don't want to build a campfire, you can just bake them off in the oven. There we go. All right. Let's put these ready. onto the grill and I have it on high right now. It's about 350 degrees inside of it. You need to let it cook for about 25 to 30 minutes or until your meat's fully cooked. Let's go ahead and put those in there over here. And I have two, whew, there we go. I have two that are already done. All right. And be careful opening those, they're hot. They're gonna have a lot of steam coming out of them. We'll just open those up. There we go, whoo. Mm, that looks oh, good. That looks and here's the perfect. buffalo burger. Let's just kind of fold down. Oh. That aluminum foil. I like the juices in here. And well, there's and there's no oil or anything, so that's all natural juices from the potato, the food. Delicious. Oh, let's just set these right there for everybody to look at. 
That is beautiful. It is. Thank you so much. You're I'm ready for some dinner now. I'm ready. I feel like I'm at scout camp. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Moses, for being with me. It has been a pleasure. Thank you very much. I'm Chef Brian. I look forward to sharing more Green Giant Outdoor recipes with you in the future. I'll see you next time.